I want to share something about procrastination. I know I talk about it a lot here. And it's because so many people are dealing with the issue, you know, with this guilt cycle, this shame, this feeling there's something wrong with me because I'm not engaging as much as I'd like to. And one of the big things I see with it is, even with somebody who makes a bit of progress and they begin to start to engage with their goals and they feel a bit more motivated, they're feeling more optimistic, there's this tendency, and it's something to watch out for, and it was actually a problem to begin with anyway, but it kind of com comes back. And it's this old belief we carry with us. All procrastinators have it. And it is a belief that I'm not doing enough. Okay. So believe it or not, procrastinators, people who have an issue with this, they are some of the most hardworking, diligent, ambitious people of all. People who have a huge degree of... Um, drive really and it gets blocked and that's why it's so painful right that's why it's so so frustrating we see a goal for ourselves and we know we want to do it we know we want to go after it and it's just blocked off so an example of what i mean is we could be for weeks and weeks or months and months even really struggling to do anything at all constantly putting something off or not engaging with a goal that we think is important and you work on it you begin to make some progress and slowly but surely you're going in the right direction and this belief comes back in. This is not enough, you're not doing enough. And what happens at that point, do you think? If you listen to any of my other videos, you'll know what happens at that point is you'll feel completely overwhelmed. You'll, you'll start to go and do way too much too soon. You'll try and take on all these multiple projects and push yourself and drive yourself. The nervous system will feel overwhelmed and you're right back. That'll be a short-term attempt to increase productivity artificially or through this inner critic which bullies us. And there's a crash and then we're back to zero and we're back into that guilt cycle again. Okay. So what causes that is, this is not enough, I'm not doing enough. Now, that's really... The reason I kind of make in these videos, the whole approach to overcoming procrastination is to just understand, to just understand what are the drivers of it. And this is one of the big ones. When you notice yourself saying that, okay, over time you'll begin to realize this is the one thing that I, I really want to let go of if I'm going to move forward, okay? It, it hurts us in so many ways. This idea that I'm not doing enough, it demands that we take on Herculean challenges, overwhelms the nervous system, as I said. It also puts us in this position where no matter what it is we do, even if we do great things, lots of things, very productive, this little inner critic comes in and undermines that. So we're in a position where we're never giving ourselves credit for any of the things we do, okay? So what I'm saying is the new mantra needs to be to, well, how do we drop it? Okay, well, we have to do an analysis and look at the reality of how it's worked in the past. Because I guarantee you, if you look back in the past and when you've been telling this to yourself, you're going to associate it with bad experiences and low productivity. Okay, that's motivation enough for us to drop it. We just do a little assessment and say, this hasn't worked up till now. I just need to drop that and be open to a different approach with this. And that approach is, I am doing enough. I am making it easy on myself. Productivity is easy. I just do a consistent little small achievable steps every day. And that leads, and anything else I do outside of that is a bonus for me. With never enough, there is no bonus. You never get a bonus, right? You never see anything you do as um, worthy of extra credit for yourself, if you like. So this is one of the main mantras of procrastination. It's not enough, you're not doing enough, you're not doing enough. What I want you to do when you're applying this, if you, if you read, read my book or you've seen my videos in the past, if you're trying any of these techniques or you're applying this new philosophy, watch out for that one because that one does come up. It's so conditioned in us to drive ourselves so hard as procrastinators. It's probably gonna come back up, right? So keep your eyes peeled, keep your eyes out for that. And you'll notice it comes with stress and anxiety when you have that, right? But I want you to keep uh, a long-term perspective in this, in your, in your recovery from this, if you like, okay? Or your transition away from procrastination. A long-term 
a perspective. If you hold that, you'll be able to see over time you're going in the right direction. You don't have to go from zero to 100 miles an hour with this, okay? You're only, you should really be looking for gradual progress, okay? You do not want to see huge jumps in productivity, although I have seen that happen, okay? Usually when that happens, it's the, the person has an issue with boundaries of shutting off work, which I also think is can be an issue at times, which I've talked about here. So the mantra becomes, I am doing enough. I'm always doing enough. I'm doing more than enough. Okay, that should be the way we talk to ourselves. And as we sit with that belief, that type of self-talk, we start to focus on what it is I have been doing and I have achieved and the extra credit I should be giving myself for all the extra things I've been doing rather than undermining ourselves with that um, nervous system voice, which always seeks to undermine us and bully us. And it thinks it's been helpful doing that, of course, but it doesn't help us at all. It undermines us and it, it makes us feel overwhelmed. So remind yourself, I am doing enough. This is a slow process. I, this is fine. I need to be making gradual progress with my goals. And we do, we do need to be making gradual progress with our goals. This approach I'm talking about is not denial about the importance of your goals. Your goals are very important, okay? And you should always feel attached to your goals, you know, that you're making progress towards them. Ultimately, of course, it's never about actually attaining that thing. It's you feel good anytime you move towards it. it. Doesn't matter how fast you're moving, any movement towards it, you're gonna feel better. So I hope that's helpful, guys. A little tip and um, let me know what you think of it. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.